as tribal people throughout history, we've been a very place-based people, you know, connected to the land where we come from. A lot of our origin stories for different tribes express the people just coming out of the land right where they had been for thousands of years. And, you know, our tribes, we were removed back in the 1800s and we lost that connection to our homelands where, you know, our great grandparents and our great uncles and great aunties are buried down there still today. We lost that connection when we were moved up to the reservation. And I don't know, for me, like, kind of learning my cultural identity has done the most for, I think, like, my spirit, my mental health, and just, like, kind of knowing who I am and where I fit in the world. So, you know, it's really important to give that back to our other tribal community members and just get them back down onto that land and, you know, put their hands in the dirt and mix, you know, mix the DNAs of our people in those plant communities again. That's important to us as tribal people, but I think just the broader community even, like, having that connection to, to the place where you're from, I think it could benefit, you know, the whole society to take care of the land that takes care of us. I know we don't see it a lot today because all our food comes from stores and in boxes and plastic, but everything that we use comes from the earth. And so I think just creating that place-based connection in, in our own tribal communities as well as the community at large is just like such an important step to kind of healing the earth and the society as whole. My name is Brandon Larrabee and I am a geographic information system specialist for the Bureau of Indian Affairs GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems and it is essentially a geographic representation of, you know, the land, the earth, where things are in a computer system. I'm also um, the chairman on the tribe's education committee and we basically meet about once a month to discuss things that are going on in the education landscape all the way from kindergarten up to college and we we discuss these things as a committee and then make recommendation and reports to tribal council and then I also am part of a group called the Indigenous Gardens Network which is the Confederated Tribes of Siletz Indians and the Confederated Tribes of Grand Round Indians. And we are working together to restore these plant communities that were so important to both of our tribes' peoples. It's both of our tribes because we both share homelands down there, so we're working together to gain access to those lands and you know restore those food sources, those first foods that our people have been eating for thousands of years. And that has been going on for about two years now. You know, there is that cliche that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. But, you know, I feel like I love what I do and I'm still tired a lot of days. But I just feel like, you know, it's work that needs to be done and I'm young enough now that I have the energy to kind of in my mind carry a heavy burden and take on a lot of these tasks that some of our elders you know don't have the time or the capacity to do so you know it kind of just feels like a responsibility that I'm upholding and I kind of take pride in that you know being able to do so much in you know, I don't know if I'm making a broad impact, but maybe someday it'll be a broad impact if I just keep it up and do it for long enough and hard enough. 
guess whatever you do, just keep at it, you know, and don't be afraid to make changes. I went back to college at 24 and got my degree at 29, you know, so if you don't know what you want to do right out of high school, that's okay too, you know? I would just say there's no one right or wrong path in life. Just whatever you do, try and be happy and take care of the people around you.